Hey, what's up YouTube? It's California Collectibles here, and today I'm going to be doing a review. This is my second figure review, and it's also going to be on a Hulk figure. This is the Avengers 6-inch Walmart exclusive movie series Hulk. Really awesome figure. This figure is going to be definitely the chase figure in the lot because it only comes one per box, one box per store, and I don't think they stock more than once a week. So if you get your hands on this figure, consider yourself pretty lucky. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him in box. Fairly large figure. He has to be squatting and bent over just to fit in this package. You can see that his knees are bent right there and he's lunging over. Here's a detailed look at the packaging. We got the recycled images over here. A nice image of Hulk right there. Collector's base is included. Another side image. Really nice. And here's the back. Really cool. And there is a read up. So if you're interested, feel free to pause. Okay, let's go ahead and get this open. For those of you on YouTube that know me, I'm a mint on card collector, so this is pretty much um, therapy for me, opening mint on card items. So here we go. I got my X-Acto knife, and let's make some incisions. go and one more cut right down the bottom all right there we go all right here we go guys right out of package get the stand out comes with the Avenger stand. Seems like it could connect with the other Avengers and create some sort of circle so they could all be displayed together. And here he is. Right out of package. Really impressive figure. Alright guys, here he is. Really awesome figure. Take a look at his back, bulging back muscles, really awesome. Um, the first thing I could probably point out is that there's no paint shading, it's just all green plastic. Um, they did do a little detailing in the hair, right there, some green spots, green, greenish gray spots. Here's a face sculpt really awesome face sculpt true to the actor that played Hulk okay let's go ahead and start with articulation his head does go up and down not too far up and it does go 360 degrees his shoulders do go up at a hinge and it clicks in place and his shoulder does go 360 degrees he has an upper bicep rotation double hinge elbows really nice and he does have wrist movement which could go 360 degrees and could also bend which is really cool his right hand is closed fist and his left hand is an open hand so that's pretty cool the Hulk figures are usually seen with two closed fists it kinda doesn't make it dynamic enough for for ACBA artists ideally we'd like to have the old school toy biz um, individual finger articulation or even a couple of fingers articulation but I mean this works too in my opinion alright he also does have an ab crunch which he could crunch back and forth really sturdy articulation and he does turn just slightly no waist articulation um, his upper thigh does open up and go down and also goes um, 360 degrees he does have a double hinge knee 
right there and his ankles do move up and down and it does have a pivot to it which is really cool and really helpful for posing all right hulk you're gonna have to tell me what is the matter i don't know what it is doc i'm just always angry hmm interesting let me go ahead and talk to my colleagues oh yeah 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 i'm small okay hulk we come to the conclusion that you're so angry because all the scalpers are taking you off the shelves and selling you for $50 on eBay. And Hasbro's distribution to Walmart is horrible. I hate scalpers! Okay, here's a size comparison with the Avengers movie figure Hulk and three and three quarters Marvel Universe figures. He's definitely a lot taller than Thanos was considered a pretty large figure in the Marvel Universe line and he towers over the six inch Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider-Man. Hulk stands about Seven and a half inches tall, lots of plastic to work with, um, awesome figure, and he looks like the largest figure in the line. Alright, here we go, some final thoughts. Hulk does have some pros going for him. He's large, heavily articulated, and altogether he's a pretty decent sculpt. His face sculpt is spot on and his body sculpt is pretty massive also. Check out these details in his arm. You could see all the little veins popping out, all the ripples in his body. And you could even see his skin texture right back here. Really, really textured and detailed figure. The plastic does feel a little hollow. Um, I'm not a 6 inch action figure collector. But this plastic for some reason really feels hollow for me. Especially his body. He's not as heavy as I thought he would be. And a very minor gripe. Which is not really a gripe. Um, depending on the collector. Um, they probably have a comment about his open and closed hands. His fist and open hand. Um, to me, it's not a problem, but again, I would like to see some more um, throwbacks to Toy Biz with uh, individual finger articulation. Altogether, this figure is amazing. Not only did he steal the show in the movie with his awesome lines, um, his action pack scenes, but he's also an awesome figure. He towers over all the other Avengers. He's probably the most articulate and the most detailed. He doesn't come with any gimmicks or any accessories like the other figures but he is one solid figure with this amazing articulation um, I think Hasbro did a great job on this figure the only thing that it's missing that could be added by any custom artist is paint shading sometimes it adds to the figure sometimes it takes it away but in this case I think he deserves some paint shading in some areas um, compared to the Marvel Select Avengers movie Hulk that figure has a lot of shading. It's unfortunate that I don't have it to compare with, but it would have been nice to see some paint shading, in my opinion. Overall, I highly recommend this figure. I give it a score of 4.5 out of 5. Um, near, near to perfect, the sheer size of this figure and the definition of the muscles and the sculpt looks so awesome. Articulation is cool too. Uh, little minor gripes, but nothing too much to complain about. I do want to say one thing though. Hasbro, you definitely got to get on top of your distribution. Um, there are not enough of these figures to meet the demands of your customers, especially Walmart having one box, one figure per box. I think that's horrible. Definitely give a chance for real collectors to actually have this. Just like the Return of Marvel Legends, you guys dropped the ball on that. And even till today, some people can't get certain figures in their area. And this is in the United States too. Alright, with that said, this is California Collectibles. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.